Hi there, I'm Amy Cassano Martinez for Red Carpet Report at the Netflix FYC space, and we'll be talking to the cast of Marvel's Jessica Jones. Um, so going into season two, you know, we're seeing a whole switcheroo and everything, um, starting with all women directors. How did that decision come about, and how do you think it affected the entire season? We we started with uh, you know, I started with wanting to uh, have the directors be at least half women and people of color, and as we began to book them, realized uh, how many really seasoned pros and, and talented directors, female directors, there were. So we just kind of kept going, really, uh, and you know, it's uh, there was a deep bench behind them as well too. So there are a lot of really talented women out there. Well, and, and it's about time people see that. I feel like you guys opened the door for women everywhere to be able to do that. And then also as well as uh, screenwriters, you know, and working on that every single episode. Um, I know you can't tell us much about season three, but what can you tell us? About? Well, I can say that, um, you know, first two seasons were very much about digging into Jessica's past uh, and so peeling back the, the levels to find, you know, figure out who she, what made her who she is. And now I think I'd really like to, focus on you know the, the question what now you know yeah. uh where where do you go with that you know so that's sort of where we're uh, focusing well and especially this last season i mean we got to touch on addiction mother-daughter relationships with trish and her mom jessica and her mom how crazy that she comes back um how do you think that the women's voices directing really helped with those stories you know honestly a great director is a great director and um, so I think uh, the voices are, uh, as long as the, the characters are true to themselves, are, are, are created with authenticity, you know, um, then those voices are going to come through. And uh, I think, you know, what the female directors really brought was, to the set was parody. It was very, um, it was a very balanced set, you know, uh, and, and so I think that creates a certain level of safety for everybody because you're not the only one, the only one of your kind there. Exactly. Yeah. To be able to have everyone's voices be heard. Yeah. Kind of a thing. Um, so, you know, going from season one to two to now three, what are some lessons that you've learned along the way that you'll be applying? Well, it's always, um, it's always about Jessica. You know, everything is, is the first question we always ask when we start to break the season is, uh, you know, what, what do we want to see Jessica go through? What do we want her journey to be? Where do we want her to begin? Where do we want her to end? And uh, that's really proven to be really uh, uh, the, the, the key for us. Mm -hmm. And I think we, we've learned that more and more over the years. And now, David Tennant coming back this season, how did that whole idea come about? You know, because we'd obviously developed a very intense relationship with him as Kilgrave in season one, but how did that idea come about? Well, part of it was just, I just want to work with David Tennant as much as I possibly can. Um, but, you know, as, as Kristen says, uh, you know, for Jessica, he never left. He's very much a part of, of who she is. And um, so it was an organic way to go, you know, an organic um, story for her to, to play out. I know that you've been in the Marvel Universe for a few years. What can you tell us about what you like about, about Marvel, like the nerdiness about it? What I love is uh, the freedom, really. You know, you would think that, you know, it's not, nothing's been prescribed here. You know, um, I, we have an incredibly rich character given to us by, you know, Brian Mike and Be Michael Bendis and Michael Gatos, who, you know, did the book. And uh, just being able to take that character and run with it and, and having the freedom to explore her, her life and her character. Uh, with very, very few restrictions. I mean, it was really just, who is this go, you know? So it's been a, an, an incredible creative freedom for it. Well, and well. it's brought us so much so much happiness, so many tears, <laughs> and also, you know, reinvented the whole idea of wearing a leather jacket. Yeah. So thank yeah, you. You're rocking that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Thanks so thank much. You. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and let us know in the comments down below. Are you a Jessica or are you a Trish?